Hi, I'm Jay from the Wild Swim Store and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to take you through the Swim Secure Wild Swimming Backpack. I'm gonna tell you how much you can fit into it, how you can use it, and give you some of my thoughts on it. So stick around. So first of all, you probably want to know how much can you fit into a backpack that's not just a backpack, but also a tow phone. Well, the scientific answer is 30 liters. Now that's quite a lot of stuff. To give you an idea, let me show you. My wetsuit boots, always full of sand. I have a foam pouch, wetsuit, always pack it inside out just in case anything catches on the skin on the outside and tears it. My swimming trunks, my goggles, of course, my wild swim store hat and a little bit of something for afterwards, my ebb and flow towel. Even with all of that in there, I still had ample extra space for if I was hiking, running, or cycling to my swim spot, which is how I often use this bag. Once you've got to your destination, you've got changed, tested the temperature, you're definitely going in. Backpack can fit a lot of your dry kit in there, just to give you an idea. And these aren't small shoes, these are my, uh, my high tops. Now, if you are gonna put your phone in there, I highly recommend always using a phone pouch or for any of your other electronic equipment, just in case something goes wrong and there is a slight leak on the bag, at least you're doubly protected. So always use an extra bit of protection for your precious electronics. Then, once you've packed all of your kit, all you do is take off the backpack straps. Expel all of the air. Roll it down to where it says foldable area. Then clip it back on itself. So there you go, you've got a perfect dry bag. But that's not gonna float, is it? So, took me a minute to work this out. You have two separate valves. The big one is actually for expelling the air. So you need to make sure that is screwed in fully. It's then this smaller screw on the top that you undo. Take a deep breath. <gasps> Inflate it fully. Now it's got two airbags, one on the top, one on the bottom, just in case one of them does get snagged on something and expels air, you know you're safe, that your kit is still gonna float. Then, as long as you do, unlike I did earlier, and remember to take this out, you get a carabiner inside. You just clip it onto the top here. You then have a waist belt, which make sure you've adjusted it to your waist size. You thread it through this loop here. Clip it around your waist and then remember to put your wetsuit boots on like I've forgotten. Then you're ready 
to go for your swim. So what do I think of the backpack from Swim Secure? I absolutely love it. I've actually been on a trip at the moment to some gorgeous places around North America and it's proved uh, uh, one of the best bits of kid that I decided to pack because it means I've been doing point to point swims where I've got everything with me and then I can hike back. I've done a run to a lake and then swam and then ran back and it's it's great quality you can see it's got super good buoyancy and you really don't feel it that much when you're swimming it's, before I started using this I always thought it was going to be super draggy as you swam you, you don't really feel it that much I really think it's great so there you go I really think it's a great bit of kit there's one other thing that it's great for I'll have to show you when I get out. I'm just going to carry on swimming a little bit and uh, I'll talk you through that. So, as you can see, I'm a bit of a messy changer, but everything I had inside, completely bone dry. And the great thing is as well, all of your wet stuff, because it's obviously waterproof, it's not going to seep through onto your back as you're walking back or when you put you've got stuff that's sandy muddy you can just fling it in the back of your car um, keeps it all nice and separate from everything else so until you get home and you can rinse and hang and dry everything properly um, just a couple of word of warning any type of tow float is not meant to be used as a safety device. It's not there to hang on to. You should never swim further than you are capable of and do not rely on them as a safety device. Even um, says so here on the back. Um, so just please remember that. Another um, bit of advice is if you're going into rough seas and I'm talking this from experience um, and you've got you know big waves crashing in hold on to your tow float um, don't let it get whipped behind you as you go out through the breakers um, because I have had in Brighton one time <laughs> um, my tow float got ripped off uh, of me waves are very very powerful so just uh, just hang on to it as you go through the breakers and then once you're out past the breakers um, you can let go of it and use it as per normal. Oh, my phone. I don't need that. No one's going to call me out here, are they? And if they do, I don't want to know. Make sure you've got all your straps because I'm terrible for leaving straps behind. Then, once you're done, clip your shoulder straps back on. So one just uh, clips on there. You can tell which way round they go because you have a waist belt, or more of a belly belt it is where it sits. It's really comfortable to carry as well. Do up your waist belt, tighten them up and you're good to carry on your run, your hike, cycle home. Really, really great piece of kit and um, I really recommend it. Um, I've loved using it on this trip. So there you go. That's a little bit of how much you can fit into, how it works, and what I think of the Swim Secure Wild Swimming Backpack. 30 litres of pure swimming convenience. Thank you for watching. And if you like this content and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, pop them in the comments. I'm Jay from the Wild Swim Store. Till next time, happy swimming.